Hello everyone! In this video, I'll demonstrate how to generate PDF files in bulk using Google Docs and Google Sheets. We'll merge data from a Google Sheet into Google Docs using replaceable markers or placeholders. Here, you can see I have a spreadsheet open containing some data. And this is my Google Drive folder containing a document that will serve as our template. This is where our generated PDF files will be stored. Let's open it. In this document, you can see the markers put in double curly braces. This will be replaced with the row data from Google Sheet. Back to Spreadsheet. When I click on this button, it will generate a PDF for each row of data by merging the row data with data inside Google Document. The generated links to the PDF will be shown in this column. Let's run this. And you can see it has generated all the PDF files. Let me open this one. I think it has done a good job. It has replaced all the markers with Google Sheet data, and it has also inserted a few common data as well, like company name. I will also show you how to insert common data. Let's also view the generated files inside our folder. You can see that it has also named the different files as per sheet data. You can customize this also. Now let me walk you through the process of setting this up for you. First of all, create a new Google document or make a copy of this document for testing. Then copy the file ID from the address bar. Now make a copy of this spreadsheet. Open the script editor by going to Extension and then App Script. This will open the script editor in the next tab. Now replace the template ID with the copied ID of your Google Doc. You also need to provide the column name of the column containing file URL. Then edit the common data, like company name and my name. Then hit the Save button. Now back to the spreadsheet. Let me clear out this column. To test it, click on the button labeled Merge and Generate PDF. When you are running it for the first time, it will ask you to authorize the code. Go ahead and grant all the permissions. Then click the button again if required. It's working great. Now let's do a code walkthrough. The provided code defines a function merge and export PDF, responsible for merging data from a Google spreadsheet with a template document replacing placeholders with corresponding values, and exporting the merged documents as PDF files. Let's break down the major blocks of the code and explain them. Constants declaration. These constants define the column headers for the PDF link, the template document ID, and the column containing PDF names in the spreadsheet. This object holds common data that will be merged with the document. This line marks the beginning of the function definition. Spreadsheet setup. Here, variables are initialized to fetch data from the active spreadsheet and its active sheet. The data range is obtained, and the headers are extracted from the first row of the spreadsheet. Data transformation. This block converts the spreadsheet data into an array of JSON objects where each object represents a row in the spreadsheet. The headers are used as keys, and the corresponding row values are set as values in the JSON object. Template document handling. These lines fetch the template document by its ID and retrieve its parent folder ID. Document creation and replacement. Within this loop, 
the code creates a duplicate copy of the template document for each row of data. It then opens the newly created document, replacing placeholders in the document with actual values from the spreadsheet data and common data. Document saving and exporting. After replacing placeholders, the document is saved and closed. Then, it's exported as a PDF and saved in the designated folder. The PDF URL is pushed inside the array that will be used to populate the column containing PDF links. Spreadsheet update and cleanup. Finally, the PDF URLs are inserted into the spreadsheet and the duplicate document is deleted. This function essentially automates the process of merging data from a spreadsheet into a template document and exporting the result as PDF files. It's useful for tasks like generating customized documents or reports based on spreadsheet data. That's it. You can find the links to all the files in the description box. Feel free to use it. If you liked the video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.